Let me tell you a little bit about my history. When I was younger, I used to have really bad skin. That was when I first came to KL. I'm actually originally from Ipoh. And when I came to KL, the weather was so bad, I was... You know, I was really stressed with all my studies. And all of a sudden, I just broke out in with large pimples. And can you imagine the feeling of having people tell me, Kim, can I take you to go see the doctor? It was embarrassing. Moreover, it was a crush. <laughs> so, anyway, at that time, I really thought, okay, it was time for me to do something about my skin. And uh, true enough, when at that time, my parents actually brought me to Dermalogica and it did help me uh, get my skin better. Um, I think it's good to emphasize, you know, with the audience that too much of the soft story sort of a bit of a drag. No, she started off with this really soft story about her bad skin. I don't know whether the brand would appreciate that. We like a very personal story, but not too much of it that becomes so visual about the... She has to be careful about how she picks her words. For example, she said, I had a pimple. And we, we don't want a visual of some big... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I had bad, bad complexion. Okay, that way you get, no, you get, you know, okay, you get the idea. Yeah. But not I have this big gooey pimple on my face. Blech. First of all, I would like to say that I have a very bubbly and very effervescent personality. And I think that always shines true. And that's why I say I want to spread love around. Because I feel that if you're a bubbly person, if you're happy all the time, you're smiling and you're laughing, well, people see you and they actually feel happy. And I believe by bringing that personality to New Zealand Naturals, because it's an ice cream, as you know, and ice cream, when people associate as ice cream, they always go like, children love ice cream, adults love ice cream. And when you eat ice cream, you feel like a little child all over again. And because of that, I believe that I am suitable to promote New Zealand Naturals and, well, bring a little bit of happiness into people's lives. To carry it off well. Short, precise, concise, nice mouth, and what else can I say? Just like, just like, the length is just... But, um... She's always had that nasally voice problem, but I have completely discounted that this week. I just ignored it because she did really well in the rest of the department. Yeah, but she's got those qualities though that, you know, she's got like the groundwork, so that's very positive. But her pronunciation is nice yeah. for her. Matter of fact, she's good. Uh, well, first of all, good evening. Um, Delhi, France. Well, Delhi, France, where else could it be from? But France. And I've been taking uh, French for the last six years in my high school. So I know a little bit of um, French, and that would really help boost up the image for um, an, an actual authentic French um, del deli. <laughs> Making it original will be one of the best ways I can portray myself and put in deli France as a good word. So deli France, uh, what can you get? My style promotes a uh, free tuna croissant sandwich. And croissant, I can say croissant, a sandwich is good, tuna is good. Okay, I don't know why it's uh, probably because I wasn't really focused and I wasn't really concentrating much. And also because I was actually like pressuring myself like, oh, if I don't do well, I'm going to throw this away because this is the last challenge. So I was like uh, over pressuring and um, I didn't think that I would start stuttering like this because I don't know, I think maybe it's the cold, but I can't blame, I can't blame my flu. It's just, I don't really know how to talk very well. It will help one chance to focus the time to be. It's not the same thing, it's not the same thing, it's not the same thing. I think it's like... Uh, I've been an Aaliyah fan from the beginning. I hate to see her performing like this because she's really terrible in this. Hands down, as honest as I'm always, I am always, she's terrible in this. She becomes almost a bit of a diva herself. What is this international school and, and you know, I'm this and I'm that and I know this and that. It's just does the whole thing. Horrible. It just doesn't work. I hope this is what I talked about before where everybody, every now and then, has a bad day. It's like looking good, you will feel good as well because looking good will make you feel good, obviously, isn't it? And then, um, 
and then GNC. GNC, okay, how, how if I, okay, I'm a brand, a brand, brand ambassador for GNC, and um, how would I promote GNC is that, obviously, I'm the brand ambassador, and as a brand ambassador, I'm the role model as well. So, I have to build up myself to show people how I can change from, you know, because I was fat until now. So, being an example or a role model is a good way to being a brand ambassador for GMC. You didn't really answer the question. <laughs> he sort of went all around on the, yeah, the question and then went back to it for like two minutes and sped off to a different direction again. They like the most part you are in the top ten out of hundreds of people who started out months ago auditioning for this show. That's not the attitude of a top ten contestant. It's does, it, was, well, it doesn't have any passion, the drive for it. I just don't sense it. I realize putting on makeup and grooming is very important to meet people around and to present yourself. You have to portray a very good image. That's why you have to put makeup. It's her definition of natural natural beauty is wrong because it's basically makeup is not not having natural beauty. It's still natural, but to portray good image and reputation to the society and everyone out there. You have you go to work, you have to put makeup. I think I portray a, a very, very good image because with how I look now, people would want to, to look as good as, you know, uh, how celebrities or any other people look like. So therefore, makeup, makeup is not only for females. You, nowadays, you have a male put on makeup. The confidence is there. Yeah. The charisma is missing. Yeah. I think a lot of our projection is body language as well, and she didn't really have that much body language or personality coming out of it. Yeah, yeah. sure the facts yeah. and everything was there. She gave her information really well. Everything was stated, but you know, there was no body language, there was no interaction, there was more like just reading from the scripts, which yeah. wasn't quite right. Yeah.